Hi everyone. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? All are fine? Okay. Today we are going to discuss our new chapter The Great Stone Face. What's the name of our chapter? The Great The Great Stone Face. What is that? The Great John face okay then here it's a story of a John face okay its origin and everything everything giving gives here in details okay it's a simple and interesting story all of you listen carefully okay my dears Then, one afternoon, a mother with her little son Ernest was sitting at the door of their cottage, and they were talking about the great stone face. It was clearly visible in the bright sunshine. Then I think all of you, all of you can reach, all of you can see this picture in your uh, in your textbook. Then here. Here, one evening afternoon, uh, the sun, the at the sun, uh, sunset, like at the time of sunset, what is going on here? Ernest and who is the character? Character in this story, Ernest. Ernest, Ernest and his mother, Ernest and his mother talking about the great John face. Okay, it's a creation of God. All of you listen. It's a creation of God. Then, seen from distance, hilltops and huge rocks seem to be assume various shapes. They may resemble an animal or human figure. Okay. Then, when we uh, when we see when we look any uh, anything from distance, surely we can we can feel uh, it's just like a human being or animal or anything like that. Okay, then people attribute stories to these shapes. Some stories come true, others don't. The great stone face is one such shape reminds inhabitants of the value of a prophecy. Surely, here in this valley, there I told you that Ernest and his mother is sitting behind, sitting in their cottage, in the courtyard of their cottage, and they are looking at that uh, that human face from distance. And surely. Uh, it have some prefaces also relating to this, relating to this human being. That means, ear shape lella, ear hilly lella. Hilly lella, and then the or a human being in the face light and then the or attribute lella. Then here we have. Then surely they have what they they have some prefaces. Chala pravachan angalu unda. In the ear or ear or shape in a kurche. Chala pravachan angalum a cottage le, our valley le, undai rano. Okay, all of you listen. We can discuss. One afternoon, when the sun was going down, a mother and her little boy sat at the door of their cottage, talking about the great stone face. Okay, a mother and son talking about the great stone face. They had only to lift their eyes, and there it was, plain to be seen. And though miles away, with the sunshine brightening all its features. Listen, simple story, listen carefully. And what was the great stone face? Great stone face means this face. Have you seen that great stone face? Okay. The great stone face was a work of nature. All of you underline. A great, the great stone face was a work of nature formed on the perpendicular side of the mountain by some immense rocks which had been thrown together so that when viewed at a proper distance. It's not clear from the just near to the hill, just near to that mountain, that just near to the valley. But if you are far away from that place, surely you can easily visible, easily understood. It's just like it's a shape of a human being. They resemble the features of a human face. It's it's it uh, signifies or it uh, uh, resembles. Resembles means it's just like what it's just like ah. Uh, uh, it's just like a give me it's just like a human shape if the spectator 
approached too near only a heap of gigantic rocks understood if a spectator that means if a viewer nammal ipo adu nokkunna oru viewer adinte aduthekku poi nokkanengil adu namakku endana oru valiya endana rock pole namakku adu thonnullu okay if the spectator approached too near to the hill he lost the outline of the uh, enormous face and could see only a heap of gigantic rocks rendu valli endana gigantic rocks inde oru kunnu oru kunnu pole le oru valiya kunnu pole aayittu namakku adu aduthunnu nokkiyale manasilavallo okay then piled on upon an another but seen from the distance seen from a distance the clouds clustering about it the great stone face seemed positively to be alive അത് എപ്പോഴാണ് നമുക്ക് ക്ലിയർ ആയിട്ട് വെൻ വെൻ വി ക്യാൻ ക്ലിയർ ഇറ്റ് എവറിങ് വെൻ വി ക്യാൻ ക്ലിയർ എവറിങ് ആ ഷുവർലി ഇഫ് യു ആർ എവേ ഫ്രം ദ ഇഫ് യു ആർ ഫാർ എവേ ഫ്രം ദ ഹിൽ ഓക്കെ ഹാവ് യു സീ ദാറ്റ് ഏണസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് മദർ ലുക്കിംഗ് ദാറ്റ് സ്റ്റോൺ ഫേസ് യെസ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് എ ബിലീഫ് ഓഫ് മെനി പീപ്പിൾ ദാറ്റ് ദ വാലി ഓഡ് മച്ച് ഓഫ് ഇറ്റ്സ് വെർച്വലിറ്റി ടു ദ ബിനൈൻ ഫേസ് and what is that this kind le benign means benign means kind face that was continually beaming over it how they fertile that means itra phala poishtamaya mannakkulla undavanulla kaaranam only because of that great stone face le some people the people the persons believed that because of this because of this person because of this beam because of this rock because of this human face ah it creates that means it generate the fertility improve the fertility of the hill okay hill area then a mother and her little boy as we said earlier sat at the door of their cottage gazing at the uh, stone face gazing at the gray stone face gazing means uh, looking looking a long time that stone face and talking about it they are talking about they are talking about ah they are talking about the great stone face and the child's name was ernest who what's the name of our hero what's the name of the who is the main character in this story is yes, ernest okay they are discussing about the great stone face mother said he while the great face smiled on him i wish that it could speak for it looks so very kindly that its voice must be indeed be pleasant what he said that what he said that i wish it could speak i think that ma i could think i think uh, he could uh, it could speak because it's very kindly le endana beenain look aanu ethri kind aayittulla ee lookilulla ee stone face ne samsaaram etra irukum adilera pleasant aayirukum adilera sandosham nalguna reethiyilulla samsaaram aayirukum aaru samsaarikka ee stone face samsaarikka naara parayanade here our earnest and if i ever see a man with such a face i should love him very much if i see any person just like this face surely i love him okay if an old prophecy could uh, could come to pass answered his mother we may see a man sometime with exactly such a face as that surely they have one prophecy prophecy what is that prophecy surely they can see they can reach they can guess what they can guess what ah this kind of a person surely they can expect അവർക്ക് എന്ത് ചെയ്യുക ഈഫ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾഡ് പ്രൊഫസി ഷുഡ് കം ടു പാസ് പണ്ട് പറയുന്ന ആ ഒരു പ്രവചനം അത് പാസ് ചെയ്ത് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് അത് എന്താണ് നടപ്പിലാവുകയാണെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ എന്താവും ആൻസേർഡ് ഈസ് മദർ വി മേ സി നമുക്ക് ആരെ കാണാൻ കഴിയും എ മാൻ സം ടൈം വിത്ത് എക്സാക്ട്ലി സച്ച് എ ഫേസ് ആസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇതുപോലെയുള്ള ഫേസ് ഉള്ള ഒരു ആളെ ഒരു മനുഷ്യനെ ഒരു ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീങ്ങിനെ നമുക്ക് കാണാൻ കഴിയും ഇഫ് ദ പ്ര ദ പ്രൊഫസി ഈസ് പാസ് ഓവർ അങ്ങനെയുള്ള എന്ത് നമ്മളുടെ ഈ കം ടു പാസ് വാട്ട് ഈ പ്രൊഫസി നടക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അല്ലേ ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫുൾഫിൽ ഷുവർലി വി ക്യാൻ സി വി ക്യാൻ സി ദീസ് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് എ പേഴ്സൺ അലാവ് ഇൻ അവർ ഇൻ അവർ ഹിൽ ഓക്കെ what prophecy to you mean to your mother then he asked what prophecy endu pravajanana amma ningal endana endu pravajanate kurichana edu pravajanate kurichana ningale parayunnade eagerly inquired earnest please tell me about it adine kurichu parayu so his mother told him a story that her own mother had told her that means what story so his mother told him a story then she said that mother of earnest uh, started to tell a story uh, to his son 
when how the mother had told her when she herself was a younger than little anast little anast anastasia kattilum cheriya kutti ayirna anastasia kallum cheriya kutti ayirna samayathu endana anastinte ammayde amma parnju kodutha kada aarku parnju kodutha kada anastinte ammaku parnju kodutha kada aaru parayana anastinte amma anastinu parnju kodukana le endana anastinte mutteshi anastinte ammaku parnju kodutha pole ippo anastinte amma aarkana anastinte anastin that prophecy they are going to discuss they are going to reveal that she is going to reveal ah that prophecy that it comes some future day a child should be born okay all of you underline a child should be born what kind of a child listen near here who was destined to become the greatest and noblest person of his time and whose face in manhood should bear an exact resemblance to the great stone face endana a great stone face inde adhe resemblance la adhe pole ella oru kutti evade jenikkum ivade ee naatile jenikkum ennalladana okay who was destined to become the greatest noblest person of his time and whose face surely he was the noblest person he should be he will the noblest person of his time and whose face is man would should be the exact resemblance endana aa oru samayathile etthom noble aayittulla oru person endayalum iyalde face odu koodi ore aal endundavum avadarikkum ennalladana understood okay many still had faith in his old prophecy many of them had faith കുറേ പേരെന്താണ് ഇതിൽ വിശ്വസിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് അല്ലേ ആൻഡ് ബട്ട് അതേഴ്സ് ടു ടു നത്തിങ് ബട്ട് ഐ ഡിൽ ടോക്ക് എന്താണ് ഇറ്റ്സ് നോ നത്തിങ് നോ നോട്ട് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ജസ്റ്റ് ജസ്റ്റ് എ പാസ് ടൈം ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് at all events the great man of prophecy had not yet appeared അപ്പോൾ ദെൻ അപ് ടു ഹിയർ ദേ കുഡ് ഇൻ സി എനി പേഴ്സൺ റിസംബ്ലിങ് ലൈക്ക് അവർ സ്റ്റോൺ ഫേസ് ഓ മദർ ക്രൈ ജേണസ്റ്റ് clapping his hands above his head i do hope that i shall live to see him okay then he think that surely me surely ma i can i can see him because i shall live to see him okay i want to meet him that is a must okay his mother was an affectionate and thoughtful woman it was proper she thought not to discourage the fanciful hopes of her little boy she didn't discourage the fanciful thoughts of her little boy and so she said to him perhaps you may or oh, maybe you can okay just like that she didn't discourage her son and she said that oh, surely you can maybe you can like that okay and ernest never forgot the story that his mother told him Ernest never forgot the story that his mother told him it was always in his mind whenever he looked upon the great stone face whenever he looked that great stone face he he remember that prophecy okay prophecy okay he spent his childhood in the low cottage where he was born was a dutiful to his mother and helpful to her many things assisting her much with his little hands she is uh, he is very helpful he, to his mother and more with his loving heart is a noble person who here earns very loving kind to his mother in this manner from a happy yet often pensive child pensive means thoughtful thoughtful child he grew up to be a mild and quiet youth that means always helping his mother with little hand in his younger days and also he become surely we can expect yanas as a noble person in that time because kindful heart we already discussed then here and more with a loving heart than all of you listen from here he spent his childhood in the log cottage log cottage where he was born was dutiful dutiful very respectful and always responsible and dutiful to his mother and helpful to her and in many things helpful to her in many things assisting assisting her much with his little hands and more with her with loving heart and in this manner from happy yet often pensive child he grew up to be a mild and quiet youth ernest had had no teacher but the great john face become one to him okay he had no teachers but that great john face he he tells that what is became one to him when the work of the day was over 
he would gaze at him for hours and then gaze at him that means looking a long time were that stone face until he began to imagine that those was features recognized to him and gave him a smile of kindness and encouragement he tried to study something from that face and his resemblance and his shape and everything and also and gave him a smile of kindness he tried to smile like that great stone face and encouragement about this time war went a rumor throughout the valley and that the great man i told you that here ernest what is main hobby its main hobby is gazing at the great stone face right then he got everything about this everything about this ah uh, this stone face his resemblance is shades its kindful smile pleasant pleasant face and encouragement and everything he studied appo ee oru great stone face le dukke edonde adinte ella subsheshathagalum ella features um aarku ariyam ivide ah ivide nammalde aarku ariyam earnest in ariyam okay then about this time there went a rumor what is that rumor throughout the valley that the great man who was a bear a resemblance to the great stone face had appeared at last okay then at last that prophecy is fulfilled who came that great stone face le a person resembling that great stone face appeared it seems that many years before a young man had left the valley valley and settled at the distant seaport okay then what is his, his history is the one person many years before young man had left the valley valley and settled at a distant seaport okay gather gold what is name gather gold he left the place and where he settled he settled at a distant seaport gather gold which was his name and he had set up as a shopkeeper and being sharp in business matters okay then here who is that person gather gold who kept the place long before and also he was and set up as a shopkeeper and being sharp in business matters had become so very rich that it would have taken him a hundred years only to count his wealth then he was very rich then he we want hundred years to count his wealth and in time he thought of his native valley at that time he thought of his who gather gold okay and decided to go back there and end his days where he had been born okay then gather gold then who who was cut away from here ah uh, for a long time before and he uh, he now he ah uh, is give me ah uh, now he very he become very rich and we want 100 years for counting for counting his wealth and everything ah uh, then give me what happened yes Mm. then now i now he think that he want to return his native place because now is old he become old ernest had been deeply stirred by the idea that the great man that means i told you that his past time is to looking that gazing uh, that stone face and he know everything about the stone face okay then all of them think that gather gold is the great stone face resembling great stone face all of you listen ernest had been deeply stirred by the idea that the great man the noble man and the man of prophecy after so many ages of delay what happened was at length to be seen in his native valley and while the boys was still gazing up the valley one day and imagining imagining that the great stone face returned his gaze and the noise of the wheels was heard and a crowd of people cried here comes the great mr gather gold then all of them understood that at last gather gold desired to return his return his ah uh, return his place then all of the thing that yes gather gold is that great stone face okay a carriage then ayala kondu veriyana gather goldine kondu veriyana ta a carriage drawn by four horses le four horses valikuna or carriage then dashed round to the turn of the road within with it thrust uh, the thrust 
partly out of the window appeared the face of an old man with a yellowish skin a horses velchirna carriage il endana avudnu aaru varan thodangi oru old face the very image of great stone face shouted the people what the people said that yes this is great stone face sure enough the old prophecy is true here we have the great man at last then people crowded people shouted and they screamed that yes we have that great stone face and what greatly puzzled ernest they seemed actually to believe that here was the likeness which they spoke of he turned away sadly from wrinkled sureness of the unpleasant face but he understood that he didn't get any pleasure from that from that gather called because he know well who is that ernest right sorry who is that great stone face then he understood that gather gold is not uh, the person who is resembling great stone face and he turned away sadly from from the wrinkled sureness of the unpleasant face and gazed up the valley where the stone face seemed to say he will come fear not and ask the man will come okay then even though all of the people believe that that is great stone face and resembling great stone face resembling all the characters of that great person but here the uh, here the earnest Ernest understood that it's not graced on face because how he understood because he know it's everything features of graced on face well who know yes ernest no then understood that he was it is not he was not great stone face okay then gather gold came all of them believe but here ernest sadly again gazed at the looking long time gazed at that gray stone face then he understood that it is not gather gold is not ah uh, gray stone is the person who is resembling gray stone face then but he got one answer what is that he he will come fear not then he will come and he started to uh, gaze at that then uh, the gray stone face said that he will come fear not and asked the man who will come understood the man will come don't don't uh, don't worry the man will come who said that he got answer he got like he got answer like this from the face of gray stone face okay understood okay then we are going to the second part all of you listen the eos went on and ernest grew to be a young man and he attracted little notice to from inhabitants of the valley and they saw nothing remarkable in his way of life except that when the labor of the day was over he still loved to gaze upon the great stone face and their idea was that this was a folly but pardonable because ernest was industrious kind and neighborly and they did not know that the great stone face had become had become a teacher to him and that the sentiment which was expressed in it would enlarge the young man's heart and what happened then here and fill it with the deeper sympathies than other hearts then they did not know that from this would come a better wisdom than he could learn from books neither did ernest know that the thoughts which come to him so naturally in the field and at the fireside were a higher tone than those which all men share with him a simple soul simple as when his mother first told him the old story and he beheld the marvelous face looking down the valley and still wondered why its human likeness was so long in coming okay i will i will explain all of you listen the eos went on what happened the eos went on the ernest grew to be a young man okay now he was just like he just grew up grew up and become a young man he attracted little notice from the inhabitants of the valley he was attracted by the people because he just it's, it's like a noble person adagondu thane aa valley la aalkar ok aaril attract cheyan thodangi here earnest le attract attract le aagrish earnest in earnest il aagrishaga aagrishaga ragan thodangi they saw nothing remarkable in his way of life they saw they saw nothing remarkable in his way of 
life except that when the labor of the day was over he still loved to gaze upon the great stone face only one thing different thing he is doing what is that his labor was over le endana joli ok kanju kanjale endu yan thodangum ayale aa great stone face ne gaze cheyan thodangum le their idea was that this was a folly then he a foolish and but pardonable they think that it's a foolish thing okay folly means foolish thing but they can pardonable means ah they can they can pardon they can pardon because earnest was industrious and kind and neighborly why they can say say it like that adu namukku shemikkavum pakshe kind kaaranam endana he was industrious very kind and neighborly okay he is very lovable to all that's why they think that are looking gazing at the lost on face adu or foolish aaya thing aanu adu namukku adu namukku sahikka namukku shemikka endha kaaranam avan endana nalla oru aalana they did not know that the great stone face had become a teacher to him they don't know here the, what is the actual uh, actual uh, the real uh, real situation of our earnest uh, earnest preter as its teacher and and that the sentiment which was expressed in it and would enlarge the young man's heart and fill it with a deeper sympathies and other hearts that means everything okay they did not know that from his would from this would come a better wisdom than would be learned from the books or books books vaichittu kittunade kaatilum endalla wisdom endana wise le buddhi avane endinnu kittunnade gazing at the rock and neither did ernest know that the thoughts which come to him naturally then he think that at the gaze idu ingane gaze cheyidondirikkumbalana avanu kittuna knowledge um wisdom okku kittuna enginana ee oru ee oru hillinne endu cheyumbo gazing gaze cheyidirikkumbo okay in the fields and at the fireside word of a higher soul that those all the men share with him and a simple soul a simple as when his mother first told him the old story and beheld the marvelous face looking down the valley and the still wondered why its human likeness was as long it's coming then here now also he is waiting for that okay when i believe like endana snehathode noble aayittu perumaruna here honest also why it's very far away from him you want to see the man who is resembling grey stone face by this time the poor mr gather gold was dead and buried okay gather gold was died dead and buried it's buried and his wealth which was the body and the spirit of his existence had disappeared before his death and then our ayalde panam ayirunu ayalde bala ayalde marana thodu kodi ellam endai poi ellarum marannu thodangi okay and since the melting away of his gold and it had been generally agreed that there was no great likeness after all between the ruin merchant and the majestic face upon the upon the mountain and then after his death all of them believe all of them understood all of them agree that there is no resemblance with this ruin merchant and this uh, and this uh, majestic majestic holy face holy face appo ee or stone face um iyalu nammile endana oru pratheechu oru bandho onnu undayirunnilla annalla it is so happened that another son of valley had become a soldier many years before okay after a great deal of hard fighting it was now a famous commander and he was known as the battlefield by the name of blood thunder okay the next person who is resembling this our and uh, uh, not an us stone face is coming who is that it so happened that the another son of the valley had become a soldier many years be- before then the another rumor is came is just like uh, and the name of a soldier who is came many, many years before then after the great deal of hard fighting and he was now the famous commander angane nannayittu yuddham cheyidirunna ayalu ipo endana or commander aayittu maarittund appa ayalu vechittaanu ini adutha endu great stone face ennu parayunnathu nokka after a great deal of hard fighting he was now famous commander and he was known on the battlefield by the name of blood and thunder and old and tired now but he is now then he he, he is famous for that means he was known as uh, blood and thunder athra sharp aitla cunning aitla brilliant aitla commander aanu ini ayalde ayale aanu nammal great stone face ne resemble edu parayunnathu okay and he had lately expressed lawful is that 
Now he was old and tired, and he had lately expressed a desire to return his native valley. Then, then he want to he want to return his native valley. The inhabitants, his old neighbors, and their grown-up children prepared to welcome the renowned commander. Then here, all of them waiting for the arrival of this. commander they want to give surprise they want to welcome that commander then all of them think that this commander is a person uh, who is resembling this great stone face okay and the inhabitants is all neighbors and they are grown up children and prepare prepare to welcome the renowned commander and it was being said that at last the likeness of the great stone face had actually appeared then all of them believe that yes at last the great stone face appeared da varan pogunu itra kaalayittu nammal kaathirna a great stone face ne pole illa athre noble aayittulla oru person ida varan pogunu okay it was being said that last the likeness of the great stone face has actually appeared and great the four was a excitement throughout the valley and many people who had never once thought of glancing at the great stone face now spend much time to gazing at it idu vare oru nottam polu nokkatha aalkar endha yan thodangi ippo great stone face ne nanna നോക്കാൻ തുടങ്ങി ഓക്കെ ദൻ നൗ സ്പെൻഡ് മച്ച് ടൈം ടു ഗേസിംഗ് അറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് and for the sake of knowing exactly how general blood and thunder looked they want to they want to find out is there any similarity between this blood and thunder and this great stone face on the day of the general arrival general arrival ernest and all the other people of the valley left their work and proceeded to spot where the great bank banquet had been prepared banquet means feast a great feast na asalkaram le adu nadakkuna aa sthalathukku ellavarum ellarude pani ko beshittu endana spot le ettiyekkanu soldiers stood on guards and flags waved and the crowd roared le or soldier or commander aanu varunnathu adinde ekka setup odu koodiyana a commander ettunnathu ernest was standing too far back to see blood and thunder's face he was very very far away his very far back back la irnar ernest and however he could hear several voices then nirnalum endana nannayittu kekkamayirunnu is the same face exactly cry one man dancing for ah oh, idu thanneya sherikku ayalde face thanneyana nanu wonderly like it that was fact replied another yes adanneya adey pole thanneya nalla le and why not cried a third and he has the great man those in this or any other age beyond a doubt a or a doubt to la then we are to see that this great man is coming Ernest at last could see the general's face and in the same and in the same glance to the side he could also see the great stone face then the great stone face and okay then the great stone face and if there was a, such a likeness as the crowd proclaim ernest could not recognize it orikkalum ernest endu endu endinu sadichilla ee itri manushamaru parayna adu adu pole aanu ennallade aarku manasilayittilla ernest that means he he agree that it's not the person okay fear not then again he got the message fear not ernest said the heart said the heart as if the great stone face was whispering to him this like le a great stone face avanodu whisper cheyna piru pirukunna le just murmur eynadu pole thoni endana fear not earnest he will come fear not that means don't worry earnest he will come okay understood then here we have here we have the balance here balance of the story here uh, is it right or wrong who is her then is the any person came like this or uh, how are us satisfied satisfied and everything in our second part of this story all of you want to read the story well it's a story of ernest and his mother and the great stone face pa great stone face inde pole thane or aalu verum nan adhe face la resemble cheyna or aalu verum ennanu parnadu okay appo adim vannu gather gold aanu panam kondu thane gather gold ne ellavarum angikarichu pakshe at last ayal director kodi ellarum parnu adalla aalu okay noble aayittla wise aayittla namukku pleasant aayittu namukku mogathukku nokkiyale pleasant aayittirikkunna or aalu verum nanu parnadu appo adu alla then vannu നമ്മളെ ബ്ലഡ് ആൻഡ് തണ്ടർ കമാൻഡർ ആണ് ഏത് ആ വാലിൽ നിന്ന് പോയിട്ടുള്ള ലാസ്റ്റ് തൻ്റെ നാട്ടിലേക്ക് തന്നെ തിരിച്ചു വരണം എന്ന് ആഗ്രഹമുള്ള ആ കമാൻഡർ ആണ് ആ കമാൻഡറെയും ആൾക്കാർ എല്ലാം അംഗീകരിച്ചെങ്കിലും ഹിയർ നമ്മുടെ മെയിൻ ക്യാരക്ടർ ആണസ്റ്റിന് ഒരിക്കലും അയാളെ എന്തായിട്ട് അംഗീകരിക്കാൻ കഴിഞ്ഞില്ല അയാളെ യെസ് അയാളെ അയാളുടെ അയാളെ ഗ്രേറ്റ് സ്റ്റോൺ ഫേസ് ആയിട്ട് അംഗീകരിക്കാൻ കഴിഞ്ഞില്ല ഓക്കെ മൈ ഡിയേഴ്സ് ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു വാണ്ട് ടു റീ
uh, chapter well surely you will get and okay inshallah i will give you uh, the question answers to our whatsapp and comprehension check how you see the comprehension comprehension check uh, uh, true or false that's your homework and working with text inshallah i will give you uh, then other working with the language le edukya lofty lofty then here how we can all of you take page number uh, 13 130 130 give me uh, lofty loftiness le loftiness ana l o f t i n e s s loftiness able ability ana le a b l i para a b ability enganana able ability a b i l i t y ability happy happiness le happiness double s happiness then give me next nearness nearness le near nearness double s should be the noble nobility le nobility nobility enormous enormity m i t y e n o r m i t y enormity pleasant pleasantness pleasant nu eda n e s s pleasantness next density le d e n s i t y density greatness 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 n e s s le endana nouns ine nammal endu add cheyana n e s s aano l i t aano nu maatiyana le then here next stable stability aanu stability s t a b i l i t y stability okay then listen second thing why didn't you turn up uh, just uh, l y to each each okay l y aanu add cheyandade why didn't you turn up at the uh, turn up at the meeting we all were ah uh, we all were eagerly le eagerly e a g r e a eager l y eagerly aanu okay then give me next dash write your name and address in capital letters kindly what is its word kindly kindly i was dash surprised to see him at the railway station i was pleasantly le pleasantly i was pleasantly l y chorkana na okay steady well okay important ana then it is perfectly le it is perfectly believable it is perfectly believable uh, that i am not responsible for this mess and i fell over the stop and nearly nearly broke his arm nearly nearly okay near l y nearly okay complete each sentence below and using the appropriate form of the verb in the bracket okay my dears how we can i phone you when i get home from school I found very good found P H O N E D I found you when I got home G O T got apo our bracket fill in the blanks le found P H O N E D found then I get got ana G O T got hurry up madam will be annoyed if we are late nammal late aavanengile madam endavum disturbed aavum will be will be what is that will be you want to write will be if it rains today we shall not go to the play le if it rains today r a i n s rains rains s jerka ta rain inde kude and we shall not go to the play when you see a uh, mandal again see when you see mandal again a uh, you will not recognize you will not recognize him you will not ni kandittilla ningal kaananengil endana ningalku tirichariyane pattilla we are off today a uh, we shall write to you we shall write to you after we are back after we are back we shall write to you after we are back okay my dears inshallah we can discuss our next chapter in our next class okay then don't forget to study well and everything 
okay we are in the last that means end of your 7th uh, 8th standard okay my dears thank you